Hi, Pisces. How are all my mermen and mermaids? I want to thank you for your interest in my YouTube channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and most of all, subscribing to these videos. And be sure to click on that bell on the side because it will notify you immediately when these videos go out on YouTube and open air and they're published. Please know that this is a general reading and if you want any accuracy answers to any questions and clarity, I welcome you to go up there and press that button and it will take you to my website where you can see the services that I offer and how to either schedule a private reading with me or a Reiki session. So here we are going into December. Can we believe it? Let's see our reading here, my beautiful fish. Here you've been given a water card and water cards are emotional cards. They're often relationship cards, okay? And often they're love relationships. And it is the two of cups in the regular tarot deck. And this is telling me that there is a relationship that's continuing to grow closer. And the reason it's growing closer because there may have been some problems in this relationship. There may have been some miscommunication going on. Something that triggered you not to be so close. But now there have been some issues that you're working out. And the word they throw up, my friend, is forgiveness. And that will be the positive resolution to any issues or conflicts that you've had with this individual in your life. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be a love or a, you know, intimate relationship. This could be with someone in your family. This could be a close friend of yours. This could be someone that you, you know, you have spent a lot of time with and there were issues that caused distance between you. Well, now with this forgiveness, this will start to rekindle again and it will continue to grow closer once again. Pisces, you've been given three earth cards and that and earth cards are pentacles. They're about abundance and being grounded and starting fresh and a new positive direction and often it has to do with money. And this particular one is the five of earth. And this tells me that some of you are fear, fe feeling like you, you know, you're, you're, um, you're, you have fears about money, you're, the lack of or you're always worried about money and you need to accept help from others. Perhaps it's a matter of just listening to your own intuition and saying, okay, well, I'm not gonna buy that big ticket item and I'm going to make sure I allocate some money for savings to accommodate me here. Or if it's deeper issues, if it's, uh, you know, self-employment, uh, business, if you're having issues that way, please know that you can seek out professional help. People there that are gonna be able to guide you, groom you, script you, and help you, dis you know, help you to, uh, you know, get over this fear of money and to be able to find money that perhaps you didn't even know you had. You know, I talk about the Five of Pentacles and it usually shows, especially in the regular rider deck, someone on crutches and they look like they've been thrown to the curb and they're out in the snow and their heads are down, but the one with the crutches, uh, that's his gift. That's what he, his assistance and he looks like he's looking ahead and he can see the light ahead and he's carrying the lantern and he's got the crutches and he's moving forward. So know that when you've been, you're going to get the assistance to help you, this money will come in and you won't have to be so stressed out uh, about it. I know December can be a stressful month for everybody uh, in, uh, you know, around Christmas and when people are shopping and overindulging in, in items that they normally wouldn't spend money on. Now, again, crowning the energy for this reading, you have an Earth card again. So this is generally Pisces. This is the uh, the Knight of Earth. And this is generally, uh, your reading here is predominantly to do with uh, finances and money here. So this is telling me that, you know, there may be a lot of work here uh, in play uh, that you have to do. And, and it's almost like too much work. And this is the Knight of Pentacles in the regular deck the night of earth. So it's time to buckle down and get things done and honor your commitments. You may have been lacking behind. You may have been distracted. You may have not wanted to do this work, Pisces. And you've kind of, uh, you know, put your blinders on and, and ignored it. Well, now you can't. Okay. Uh, it's crunch time. You have to get down to business. You have to honor your previous commitments. And it's the card that talks about your guardian angel being there with you. This Knight of Pentacles is going to be there with you. This could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn that's around you. That may be your guardian angel that's going to get you through this. And they're going to be able to help you get this work done. Okay. So don't be afraid to ask for help. All right. Um, you've got to get this work done. And it's as simple as that, Pisces, but know that you're going to get some help here. 
Now, here's your third Earth card. It's the Seven of Earth Pisces, and it is the Seven of Pentacles. And this is, um, you know, worrying, worrying needlessly. You may have put, um, you know, put an idea out, a, a proposal out. Uh, you may be waiting for something to come in, and you're worried uh, that it's not going to arrive, or when is it going to arrive. If it was a proposal, you're worried, I mean, how did they accept it? Did they accept it? How are they going to react to it? How are they going to respond to it? You're worrying, 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 and you have to stop worrying, my friend, because this is the Seven of Pentacles, and look at He's worrying. He's got all this abundance around him. This is about abundance and being grounded so this is only a temporary pause okay if you're waiting for money to come in if you're waiting for that check if you're waiting for some information if you're waiting for any abundance to come in please know you're you're worrying unnecessarily because those seeds you planted my pisces was plant they were planted well so stop worrying now your last card you've been given is the ace of air and air cards often have to do with justice or legal issues okay so it is the ace of swords my friend so this is all about you um you know standing firm and knowing that you can get through any situations right now you're going to see the truth in a situation coming in and it, because it's the ace it may be a little bit challenging in the beginning but i want you to know that um that, you know, this is about you making the right decisions and making the right choices right now. But you're going to be getting some new, interesting, and brilliant new ideas that are going to inspire you to get through this. This is about, you know, dealing with information coming in and knowing that you can stand up. Because you know what? You can do it. You can do it. This is the Ace of Swords. You're going to be able to get through. Don't sit around and worry yourself. I mean, this is talking about worry. For some of you Pisces, I don't know about you, but I am a Pisces and I tend to be a worrier. And it's telling me that, you know what, things are going to improve. All we have to do is speak up and ask for help, okay? A lot of it is an illusion in our mind. We carry that, that thought pattern in our mind and we allow it to, the fear and the worry to take over us. And we have to stop that, Pisces. You have to stop that. You're very sensitive. I know that. Uh, we all, you know, as Pisces, I know that instinctively. So please know that there's going to be this ace of air. There may be some challenges when it first comes in about this information about the truthfulness. But you know what? It's going to work out because it's only in your mind. We have to set ourselves a path where we know we're steadfast and true and we can handle it. Now, let's get some clarifying cards on these cards. Pisces. Let's see what we've got for this two of water about this relationship. What are they going to tell us? Why have we got that? I mean, I, whoops, thank you. That one flew out right away. So you've got, again, worry. And this is the five of pentacles. And we talked about worrying and worrying and worrying. And, and you know, I told you, you feel like you've been thrown out. You feel like you've been betrayed. You feel like you, 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 you know, um, they've turned on you and you're feeling very sad about it. But Look at, he's got the crutches, he's got assistance, he's standing up again, he's looking forward, he sees a direction, and he's going in it. So, this is all about, you know, realizing that, you know, and the pentacles, like I tell you, they're about abundance and being grounded and starting fresh. So, this may be a whole new beginning with this relationship because of that forgiveness that came in. Okay, that two of cups. And that makes sense, that makes sense, of course. Okay, so we need a clarifying card, please, my guides, and spirit for the five of earth being surrounded by worry about money Pisces and, you know I know it's December and a lot of people will have that worry um, are they going to have enough and so on but um, you know what again that was the five of pentacles and I showed you that you know you're going to get help you're going to get assistance so let's see what's going to happen here give me a clarifying card please for the five of earth thank you oh there it is well you got the nine of pentacles so things are going to work out okay stop worrying just keep believing in yourself knowing that you know you have the wisdom to accept the help from someone and you can get that okay so this may be a taurus a virgo and a, a virgo or a capricorn uh that's going to come in and give you this advice and give you this assistance and help you with your money situation so great card look at all the yellow any cards that come up yellow are good positive cards Okay, so we're going on to the Knight of Earth, okay? Knowing you have some work here to do, you've got to buckle down, uh, you know, and get this work done. So let's see why you got this, Pisces. Why did you get the Nine of Earth here? Why did you get this card? Let's see what we've got here for a clarifying card here. Just need this card for it. Clarifying the Knight. The Knight of Earth. The Knight of Pentacles. <coughs> 
Well, you know, your guardian angel, like I say, uh, may be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn that's going to come in, Pisces, to help you. Uh, you know, could be an accountant, could be your employer, could be your banker, could be your financial advisor, um, anything like that. Okay, you just need that one card. This one, okay. First one. Okay, so <laughs> you've been given the, <clears throat> the Seven of Swords to go with that. And sometimes that's looking behind your back. It means someone may have taken something from you. You may feel like you, uh, you know, you, you, um, someone may know something that you don't know. But um, nevertheless, I do see that, you know, again, uh, you need to buckle down. Okay, don't be looking behind you. You got to look forward now. You got to realize you have to buckle down and get this work done. But you're going to get help. Okay, you're going to get help. Your guardian angel is going to help you. So stop looking over your shoulders saying, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get that done. Yes, you're going to get it done. Okay, you've got help coming in. Okay, let's see what we've got here for a clarifying card for Pisces for the Seven of Earth. We've got a lot of money cards here, a lot of material cards here, a lot of Earth cards here, and Pentacles. And generally, they're abundant. They're good cards. But these ones here are worried. You're worrying about money, and I get it. It's December. Who doesn't worry? It's year-end, usually, for a lot of people. So, But know that this is all about a temporary uh, pause in action while you're waiting for something to come in, let's see the clarifying card for that. Let's see what's going to happen here. One card, please, for the Seven of Earth or the Seven of Pentacles. Oops, okay, we got a whole pile here. So, the first one that hit me in the face here is the world. So, stop worrying, okay, Pisces? Don't worry, sweetheart. It, you know, all my darling fish out there, things are going to work out. You've planted those seeds, you're going to hear well, and this is the world. It's like. <laughs> Things are going to work out. It's so positive. You've got it in your hand now. It's going to be okay. Great card for the clarification card. I thank my guides and angels for that. Now the final card, which is the Ace of Air, which has to do with justice or legal issues. Often that card does. Um, let's see what the clarifying card is. And it is the Ace of Swords, okay? Uh, knowing that, you know, you're going to see something come in. You're going to hear about some. Okay, that one hit the floor, so we know that's your card, Pisces. And it is the eight of pentacles okay so with hard work okay you can get it you can get it count your blessings they're coming in you're going to be able to handle this okay so don't be worried about this this is the eight of pentacles okay you're going to be okay it's going to work out pisces there's some brilliant new ideas coming in they're going to be inspirational they're going to help you through this situation and no matter what the challenge is, at the end of the day, look at all the abundance coming in. You're working on this issue. It's going to work out. Now, let's see, my beautiful fish, what your final outcome card for the energy of December is with the beautiful answers from my angels oracle deck. And let's see what we've got here. I ask my guides and angels to please give my beautiful Pisces my final card to tie in this reading for them. So here we go. We're at the oh, here we go. All right, we're at the end of the year almost, my friends. Well, you've got get more information. So if you're working on something that you need to know something about, you need to do your work. Okay. Again, we have that buckle down. You've planted your seeds well. So obviously you're going to be busy this month. So get more information on whatever projects, whatever. Uh, proposals you've put out, whatever it is you're working on. If it's legal issues, you only had one air card here, so I don't see that a lot of you are dealing with legal issues. You are dealing with a lot of material issues, okay? And that has to do with money. So get more information, my friend. Simple and to the point. I wish you a great remainder uh, to this year. Have a beautiful, beautiful month of celebrating and giving and receiving and doing wonderful charitable acts without any expectation. Giving it and paying it forward, my friend. So no matter what it is you're doing, I hope you celebrate with those that you love the most and I wish you many blessings, Pisces. See you again in 2019 January. And know that I continue to stand in that circle of light for you, Pisces.